The One X Eve robot could be the most advanced humanoid robot ever created, and it is powered by OpenAI, the leading organization in artificial intelligence research. We are saying this because a video was released showcasing the Eve robot performing various tasks in different environments, such as warehouses, offices, and homes. But what's amazing about this video is that the robot is not being controlled by a human operator or following a pre-programmed script. It's all controlled by neural networks, all autonomous. It can plug itself into charge once it notices that it is running out of charge, which means it doesn't need humans to keep it powered. This self-charging ability is a major development as it allows the robot to work for extended periods without interruption. This robot is simply learning how to do things by itself using end-to-end -end AI. If you are interested in search robotics and technology videos, then a sub from you will be amazing. This robot is a product of a collaboration between One X and OpenAI, one of the most influential AI research organizations in the world. OpenAI invested 25 million US dollars in One X last year and another 100 million dollars this year, showing their confidence and interest in the company's vision of creating general-purpose humanoid robot workers. Unlike other humanoid robots that have feet, hands, and complex joints, this robot is simpler and more robust. It has two powered wheels for locomotion, a third caster wheel for balance, and two claw-like grippers for manipulation. It also has a camera, a microphone, and a speaker for perception and communication. It may not look as flashy or sophisticated as some of the other humanoid robots out there, such as Tesla's folding clothes robot, or Figure's coffer-making robot, but it has a secret weapon, a data engine that can solve any mobile manipulation task in a completely end-to-end -end manner. OpenAI has developed this data engine that can train the EVE robot to solve general-purpose mobile manipulation tasks in a completely end-to-end -end manner using only neural networks and imitation learning. What does that mean? Well, it means that this robot can learn how to do any task that involves moving around and interacting with objects without any human supervision, guidance, or feedback. It can learn from any data source, such as videos, images, text, or speech, and it can generalize to any environment, such as a warehouse, an office, or a home. It can also adapt to new tasks on the fly, with just a few minutes of data collection and training on a desktop GPU. How does it do that? Well, it uses a combination of imitation learning, reinforcement learning, and meta-learning, powered by deep neural networks. Imitation learning is a technique that allows the robot to learn from observing or mimicking the actions of others, such as humans or other robots. For example, the robot can watch a video of a human picking up a toy from the floor and putting it in a bin, and then replicate the behavior in its own environment. Reinforcement learning is a technique that allows the robot to learn from trial and error by rewarding or punishing it for its actions. For example, the robot can learn to open a door by trying different strategies and getting positive or negative feedback based on the outcome. Meta-learning is a technique that allows the robot to learn how to learn by transferring the knowledge and skills it has acquired from previous tasks to new tasks. For example, the robot can learn to plug itself into a charging station by applying the skills it has learned from manipulating other objects, such as boxes, bins, and trays. Neural networks are a type of machine learning algorithm that can learn from data and perform complex computations. To explain this from a better perspective, let me give you a step-by-step -step scenario of how their data engine works. First, the One X company trains like say 30 EVE robots on several individual tasks each such as picking up and placing objects, opening doors, and plugging themselves in for charging. They use imitation learning via video and teleoperation, meaning that they record videos of humans or other robots performing the tasks, and then control the EVE robots remotely to make them copy the actions. Second, they use these learned behaviors to train a base model that can perform a broad set of actions and behaviors, such as moving around, reaching, grasping, and releasing. The base model is a neural network that takes as input the images from the EVE robot's camera and outputs the commands for the EVE robot's motors. The base model is trained on a large data set of videos and teleoperation data using a technique called self-supervised learning, which means that the neural network learns from its own experience without needing any labels or feedback. Third, they fine-tune the base model toward environment-specific capabilities, such as warehouse tasks, general door manipulation, etc. 
They do this by adding more data and training the neural network on specific scenarios and challenges that the EVE robot might encounter in different settings. Fourth, they train the EVE robot on the specific jobs that they want it to do, such as picking up toys from the floor and putting them in a bin, or sorting objects into different boxes. They do this by collecting a few minutes of data from the EVE robot's camera and teleoperation, and then training the neural network on a desktop GPU, which is a powerful device that can process large amounts of data quickly. This way, the EVE robot can learn new tasks in a matter of minutes and adapt to different situations and environments. By using these techniques, the EVE robot can build a base model that can perform a broad set of actions and behaviors, such as moving, grasping, placing, pushing, pulling, opening, closing, and so on. Then, it can fine-tune this base model to specific capabilities, such as warehouse tasks, general door manipulation, and so on. Finally, it can train itself on the specific jobs it has to do, such as picking up and sorting objects, tidying up toys, or opening doors for itself. This fast, efficient, and scalable process allows the robot to learn any task in any environment, with minimal human intervention. This robot can also learn from its own mistakes and improve over time by using a technique called reinforcement learning, which means that the neural network gets rewarded or punished based on the outcomes of its actions. One EVE robot can also communicate with other EVE robots and share its knowledge and skills by using a technique called multi-agent learning, which means that the neural networks can cooperate and coordinate with each other. This robot is impressive, but how does it compare to other humanoid robots in the market? Well, let's take a look at some examples. The Tesla robot is a humanoid robot that can fold clothes, but it requires teleoperation. One robot is a humanoid robot that can make a cup of coffee, but it has a limited range of skills. The Zero One robot is trained on a specific task, and it cannot perform other tasks or interact with other objects. Zero One is also dependent on the environment, and it cannot operate in different settings or locations. As you can see, the 1X EVE robot is superior to the Tesla robot and the Zero One robot in terms of versatility, autonomy, and intelligence. The 1X EVE robot is the most advanced humanoid robot ever created, and it is powered by OpenAI, the leading organization in artificial intelligence research. This is a remarkable achievement and a huge leap forward for the field of robotics and artificial intelligence. The EVE robot demonstrates that it is possible to create general-purpose humanoid robot workers that can learn how to do things, by themselves, using purely end-to-end -end AI from data. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities and applications for robotics, as well as new challenges and opportunities for humans. Click here to watch my latest video on the top 11 countries that are the most advanced in robotics, in terms of the adoption of robots in their workforce for every 10,000 human employees you will be surprised with some of the countries on the list.